afternoon, good evening, perhaps good morning, depending on what part of the world you may be joining us from. I say the world because today is World MS Day, and it's a very special motivational Monday on a Tuesday. So it's kind of a Tuesday that feels like a Monday for many of you in the US, because I know it was a long weekend. Um, World MS Day is celebrated, I don't want to say celebrated, but recognized across the world. Uh, we did a session um, mid-March, and I'm going to have Lauren uh, post that for reference uh, as another example. Um, we did a, a, a something for MS Day, a, a session for just the, the US, but it is World MS today. Uh, and uh, normally I would do my sessions on Monday, but as it's a holiday, uh, we're doing it, it worked out nice today being the day. So I want to know a few things. There's a little bit of surprise today that Lauren might have alluded to. Um, please tell me where you are from. Tell me if you are dealing with MS. Perhaps you're caring for someone with MS. Perhaps you know you think you might have, but you're not so sure. Uh, I live in the world of undiagnosed. Many of my clients are dealing with symptoms that just don't make sense, but it's not always easy to get a diagnosis. So we're going to talk a little bit about symptoms today and some of the things uh, that, that might connect or, or be a trigger to you. Hello, Sandy. I look forward to this. I have fibro, but sometimes my plate is just too much for me. Uh, and she is from Florida. Fibro and MS have a few overlaps. As, as, you know, symptoms, if you've watched any of my um, medical type sessions before, symptoms are more what I target. You know, there's a lot of different symptoms out there, but same or similar symptoms could be associated to a whole bunch of different conditions. So, you know, pain and fatigue, which is a couple of the big things I'm gonna talk about today with MS, are very common with fibro. And how these conditions present themselves in the form of symptoms on your body varies. So uh, in, in the US, there's anywhere from about 750 to a million folks, depending on what source, you look at that are dealing with MS. So I say those are people, you know, if it's a statistic and it's something that the, the government is putting out, that, that would probably be a hard diagnosis. You know, there's probably just as many people out there living with these conditions or these symptoms, we're not realizing there, there may be an underlying cause. So uh, in the world, there's something like 2.8 million uh, cases of MS. So I don't think a third of them is in the US. I think for the same reasons, not everybody out there has got an accurate diagnosis or has one or knows that they're dealing with it. Um, again, that past uh, session, I'm going to have Lauren uh, post in the comments. So if you did want to watch, I'm going to do something a little, a little bit of a variation on what I did on the machine. So today we're going to talk about if you are dealing with MS, you're a caregiver helping someone with, with uh, MS, or perhaps you're a PT or a doctor, um, some of the tools, the amazing, amazing tools that Life Pro offers to help manage symptoms. Uh, it is said that MS cannot be cured, but you can live a very active and full life. You just got to pay attention to your body and, and, and give it some of the attention it needs. Um, some of the common symptoms that you will experience with MS, and, and the biggest one I mentioned also in my last session, is fatigue. And fatigue, as I'm sure Sandy knows, is one of those things that's really common to a lot of conditions. Um, pain is another big thing with MS. And I, I think there's a relationship between the two. If you're dealing with chronic pain all the time, guess what? It sucks energy out of you and you're tired all the time. So sometimes a symptom contributes to another symptom, if that makes sense. But fatigue can come from a lot of places. You know, maybe you're on a whole bunch of meds. You know, maybe you're not sleeping well due to aches and pains. Um, other things like vision uh, problems can, can be something that, that presents itself numbness or tingling sometimes you know we just pass it off as a little bit of neuropathy or poor circulation uh declining mobility stability flexibility any of your functions declining is your body giving you clues that you know something's just not right here um aches and pains i mentioned pain earlier but you know those chronic every all the time you know perhaps it's restless leg uh perhaps it's the legs themselves throughout the course of your day um thank you for posting that um, if you're joining us, let me know where you are from. If you are dealing with someone that has MS, if you're looking at managing symptoms on your own. Um, other symptoms uh, that, I, that I wanted to mention briefly before we get into the fun stuff is cognitive thinking, cognitive issues. Um, you know, and that's a whole big topic in itself, but 
you know, the recall is not the same. It's hard to stay focused on a task or it's hard to absorb new things or learn new things and retain. So it doesn't mean that there, there's anything wrong with you, um, you know, but these are just, again, signs that, you know, perhaps maybe it's just nutritional related, but perhaps you're dealing with something more and perhaps MS is one of the underlying causes. And, and like I say, um, there's a lot of variation in these symptoms. So, uh, you know, folks that are dealing with this condition, um, they don't have all the symptoms, maybe all the time, but one of the things, if, if you're not looking at investing time and effort into um, progressing or, or, or changing your personal situation, the, the symptoms themselves can progress, uh, MS can progress. So the symptoms can worsen over time. So all the more reason to, if you have some of the tools I'm gonna go over today, we're gonna talk specifically about whole body vibration plates and some red light therapy options that I want. There's a lot of different things that Life Pro offers, but I talk enough and I didn't want this to be a four hour session. So I'm, I'm keeping it today to vibration plates and red light therapy. And as I pull some of my plugs, I'm going to have Lauren mentioned. So uh, surprise for those of you that have stayed with me. The surprise today is uh, one of the things I'm talking about in the latter part of the session, which is red light. Uh, there's lots of ways you can benefit using red light for your MS symptoms. Uh, and LifePro is going to help you do that by giving away two Lumicure uh, torch wands. So if, if you have MS um, and, and you've been considering red light, today is your day um, to be entered to win one of the two Lumicures for today's sessions. Uh, simply by the time I'm done my rambling, we're going to do some questions at the end but participate make a comment tell me where you're from if you are dealing with ms i want to talk about symptoms i want to let you guys give me uh your your questions today and i'll give you some solutions whether it's on the machine or maybe some dosage using your red light therapies at home to treat your symptoms so we're going to give two away today uh, make sure that you make a comment in some way shape or form and towards the end of the session uh laura and her super dog olive are going to draw the two winners i'll, I'll announce those at the end of today's live and we'll post those in the comments as well. So make sure you stick around for that. Um, one very last thing I wanted to mention today, uh, there's a new blog article up on Life Pro Today, again, about MS. It's all about MS today. Um, but one of their partners, uh, I mentioned this in, in the March uh, US Awareness Day uh, session, but Dr. Terry Walls is not only a brilliant, brilliant uh, uh, mind at the University of Iowa, but she personally deals herself with MS uh, had gotten progressed to the point where, where she was literally living in a wheelchair and she's done some phenomenal work, some, some phenomenal advocacy uh, through herself and just improving uh, her condition and, and living a much, much better life. There's, there's quite the picture in the blog article today that she shares on her sites. Uh, Terry has received a two and a half million dollar nutritional study uh, grant from the Carter Chapman Shreve Family Foundation. I didn't even trip on that uh, to research ways that diet may improve the quality of life for so many dealing with MS. So check that out in the new blog. Uh, thank you for posting that, Lauren. Um, and if, if you're if you know someone with MS or someone that's dealing with MS, this is some really good information in today's session to share with them uh, and they can catch up on a later date. Um, I have Argent Blade. Hi, I have MS. Just started using red light therapy and a small lamp. See, we're thinking on the same wavelength. I also have Robert here, been wanting to try some red light therapy for pain issues. Pain's a common one, Robert, and sometimes swelling or, or lack of sensation as well. So I'm going to talk about a few of the benefits with that today. Uh, but first, I'm going to take a little bit of a step away, and we're going to talk about vibration plates, why you would want to use them. Uh, today, I'm going to make sure I have my toys for my red lights later. Uh, the last session, I, I showed you some basics on how to build strength how to improve your range of motion. Today, I want to talk to, um, specifically to those of you that are a little bit more below baseline. So mobility has declined. Uh, we are ready to do something about our, our physical condition. And, um, you know, our body was made to move. And sometimes the less we do or the more sedentary our lifestyles are, some of these conditions come to the surface. So it is absolutely an awesome idea to be active if you have MS. But like any other condition that you're dealing with out there, I want you to pay attention to the parameters that you're dealing with. What symptoms do you have? Are you dizzy? Are, you, are your feet numb? So work within the parameters of what you're able to do. And today specifically, I want to talk to those of you that have extreme fatigue, 
very poor mobility, uh, lots of pain, and something like a vibration machine looks like it's just never an option for you. But a lot of people don't realize a vibration machine can be the, the, the kindest, the kindest, the most gentle stimulation. It can also be a really kick butt workout. It really depends on how you personally apply for your own situation. So today I'm seated in a stool and I have a few things going around here on the floor. I have today I'm working on the um, Rumblex 4 or the Rumblex Plus. Uh, I always do my stuff in oscillating mode. And if you are dealing particularly with poor mobility and balance issues, oscillating is, is most like how we walk across the floor. And it, it's really a no brainer to improve some of those things. It's just the nature of using this style of movement. The other thing I have here today is, is an aerobic step or a block. If you have something of this nature that's the same height as your machine, I'm going to show you some ways with this in regular positions that we do on the machine, how you can minimize vibration to the head. If you're dealing with other things besides the MS, perhaps you've got weakness on one side, maybe a past stroke or an injury. There's ways that you can expose half of your body weight to the machine um, until confidence is there, or the stability has improved a little bit. Stability and balance are going to improve within the course of a single session. It's consistent, regular use that, that is, is going to give you the benefits in the long run. So I'm going to get this going, not at a slow speed. For any of you that have watched my sessions, to me, the term, I'm going to start slow on a vibration machine should be stricken from your vocabulary. Slow means something completely different to everyone. Uh, we tend to think of it as a speed, though. So we're going to start really, really slow. But there's two things when you're using this plate, especially if you're dealing with MS. Um, I don't want your feet looking like this. We have a tendency to put our feet as wide as humanly possible because that's what we see everybody else doing. And if you are doing this in combination with a really slow speed, you are standing on a really scary BOSU ball. The really slow speeds in oscillating, the slower third, I'm going to say, um, are really about balance and stability. And although that's something that we know uh, with the symptoms of MS that you may want to improve, I wouldn't start you on a BOSU ball. <laughs> It's a little too much. Uh, so those slow speeds are great for those of you that, that are active, are not dealing with balance concerns. You're doing core work. You're doing balance positions. Uh, but for, for everyday functional feel good and fitness, I'm not a big fan of using the slower speeds unless they're balance specific. Because the machine is moving side to side, you're always improving your balance whatever speed you are on. And I find if you bring it up to a mid to higher speed, in conjunction with a closer foot position, you're always in control over the intensity. Wider is more intense, closer is less intense. So last session we talked about some squats and how to improve your, your leg strength, which is a huge thing with you when you're dealing with MS or with fibro, um, you know, is that leg strength. Uh, a lot of the things when you're exercising the legs, how much you're exercising them, um, it is going to, you know, sort of be a balance. Sometimes you're doing leg exercises to get rid of a restless leg or you've got pain in your legs. It's pushing yourself far in, in, in durations and fatigue that would be more the realm of fitness. So today, instead of squats, we're going to do a variation of that and we're going to start with a sit to stand. So why would I want to use a vibration plate when I, when I have MS? A, you want to get stronger. That You want to keep the strength that you do have and you want to build on that. You want good circulation. You want good lymphatic movement. You want good balance. You want good mobility. All these things on the list I talked about before, 99.9% .9 of them are going to improve with activity. All that a vibration plate is, is a kinder, less impact form of activity. It's an environment you do things on. So the first thing we're going to do on this, as I said, I'll get to it, is the sit to stand. I want your feet about hip width apart. And we're simply, just like we're getting up from our kitchen table or off the couch, we're going to simply stand up on this machine and we're going to keep our knees slightly bent when we get there. Then we're going to do another rep and we're going to slowly sit back down and, and keep resuming. If you can do this without your arms, good for you. Uh, you want to keep it that way. If you look more like this, where you need to use your hands to get up out of the chair, you need to be doing this exercise regularly for about the next week. You want to be able to stand up out of your chair 
without having to use your arms get those legs strong so i would say if you're doing this as an exercise you know to, you, you want to use your machine to lose weight while you're treating your symptoms uh, do this stuff early in the day get that metabolism boosted um elevated throughout the course of the day if you wanted to make this more challenging and the balance and the stability is okay um try going a little deeper in your positions and just hold a static position and you'll feel those legs firing up much quicker the, the taller we stand just like on the floor the easier it is the more we get prepared to sit back down in that chair the more you'll feel the load transfer and all that mat all all the energy you'll feel it ga gathering in the quads you want to keep your heels planted. The body has a tendency to try to want to cheat. And if you're feeling it primarily in the shins or the kneecaps, your body has shifted your weight forward to the toes. By lifting the heels off the platform, you don't feel it transfer up into the thighs as much. Um, but you want to, you, that's not what we're trying to get strong. Keep those heels planted. 60 to 70% of your body weight is on those heels. You should be able to lift your toes slightly off the platform. And then, what I want you to do if your goal is strength is just hold this until you can't hold this too more to to set any longer. And and if you've gone to the point where you can't recover, meaning you've stood too long and you can't stand back up, you have your stool. Just sit yourself back down. I would like to see you do multiple reps, you know, two to three to four reps. Um, you know, really whenever throughout the course of the day. Uh, one of the big symptoms I talked about earlier with MS is fatigue. And a minute or two on your machine, whenever you feel those energy levels dip, whenever you feel that, you know, mental capacity needs a little bit of a boost, maybe you've got some aches and pains, you know, sometimes a minute or two as a self-care, as a spot treatment thing is a completely different application of this than maybe the workout you thought it would be. So for those of you that are going to say, well, Debbie, what is the best uh, settings for MS and what is the best exercise program? You know, settings are subjective. It's like going to the gym and saying, what's the best amount of weights to lift to sculpt my arms? It's going to vary for everyone. And then it's how do you lift the weights? There's lots of different ways to do that, too. So start, if you're just a new user, just get used to how the machine feels and, and work on some of the short-term stuff, the balance, the stability, before you, you know, put some expectation of having a big old workout. For those of you that are more active and you're in better shape, and what I'm doing today is boring and, and not enough for you. You know what you need to be doing. Add your weights. Do some dynamic squats. Do some step ups. Whatever you're doing now, if you have MS, it's just a matter of making sure that you're using your device consistently within whatever capacity you're physically able to and what you're willing to tolerate. So I want to get to a little bit about this little thing I got on the side here. So this is an MS session. But again, one of the symptoms with MS is, is poor mobility and poor balance, which is a common thing with lots of different conditions. Um, maybe you've had some heart issues. Maybe you've had a stroke. Um, you know, there's all kinds of reasons that this thing scares the crap out of you. So if you're really, really scared of it or you're sensitive to the head vibration, which is never harmful, it just takes some getting used to. You'll notice I've got this little step here. You want something that's good and solid. This is also a very easy hack. If, you know, maybe your budget doesn't allow for one of the bigger, fatter platforms and, and your, your weight capacity exceeds the machine's allowance, cut yourself in half. Meaning, you're putting half of your body on the block beside the machine, half of your body is on the machine. So, what I would recommend if you're going to do an exercise like this, uh, and I don't know if you can see it, but you can all, it's almost like just to here. I don't feel anything in my head. I feel a little bit up through my hip, but more just to here. I feel nothing here. So if, if I'm doing this and I'm freaking out and I'm scared, I could simply go like this and I'm back on dry land. Okay. So I do this with a lot of my seniors that are dealing just with fear and weakness. So if you are going to start in this fashion, put your foot closer to the center or just slightly over. Remember the closer to the center, the less you move, the farther to the edge of the machine, the more you move. So I don't want your starting position is your foot on the very outer edge of the machine. It's, it's too much action, even though it's only one side of your body. Try and put your foot ideally somewhere before, between dead center and, and the, the first marker out from the center. And you'll feel a nice stimulation on the leg. It'll take a little bit longer because, of course, you got to do both sides. Okay. 
but it's just another way to use this if you are dealing with fear, if your range of motion is poor, um, you know, you're, you're working by yourself at home and you just want to make sure that you're in a stable environment. Um, if you're really unstable and you don't have a machine with handles, I would also recommend just putting a chair or something just to give yourself something to hang on to if you are fearful. So that's just another little tip. Okay. So what would we do on this block, Debbie, now that, that we're here and, and we're trying this? The same things you would do if you're standing on the plate. So do your squats. We're going to sit back down and we're just going to hold. Hold until we can't hold no more. This leg is going to fatigue faster than this one. And then you can just stand up and take some, some intensity out of the position. And then, like I said, what, you know, whatever you're doing, uh, perhaps we want to do some torso twists. You are only limited by your imagination and your range of motion. Perhaps you want to touch your toes. So anything you, you are doing on the floor or you're doing on the machine now, if you're a coach, if you're teaching someone else to use these machines, you've got access to equipment like this, put it beside the machine. Another really awesome tool, and I do not have it, is, is the balance ball that, that uh, Life Pro offers. That would be a great option beside the machine, one foot on the ball portion, one foot on the machine, even for my athletes. Uh, the last very little tip on this, for those of you with MS that perhaps have a little bit more game and you are more athletic, um, if you do like to do wide squats with your legs, uh, some of you might find that the platform itself is kind of limited in how far you can actually stand with your foot position. So by putting the block beside the machine, it's, it's, it's great for that poor mobility and the crowd that's, you know, lacking uh, balance. But it's all, you know, maybe you're a martial artist and, and you want to do really wide exercises. So there's ways you can do that. So this is just another idea I wanted to introduce to you. But a lot of my clients with MS, just a lot of my elderly clients that are dealing with poor mobility and stability issues, this is just a little hack I wanted to share with you today. So um, just to recap very quickly, uh, and one last position I'd like to show you, um, for those of you that are able to stay out on the platform comfortably, you don't feel like you're going to fall off the machine, but maybe you're not quite ready for full-on balance positions yet. Let me see if I can even do this. I got my jeans on today. Okay. So if, if things like that are scary, my favorite way to improve balance with a lot of my seniors is, is just hang on to your, your chair in front of you, or if you're working with someone, hang on to their fingertips and just close your eyes for three, four, five seconds and reopen them. So without even doing anything to your position, just by closing your eyes, your body's more reliant on its own proprioception. And, you know, we, we rely on that sight a lot more than we realize. And I'm fairly stable on the platform, but it's not uncommon at trade shows or with, I'm work, when I'm working with a new client, you close your eyes and all of a sudden people, you lose your ground. So if, if that happens to you when you close your eyes on the machine, fit or not, MS or not, that's a really fun way to just make your, your exercises themselves more challenging is just by closing your eyes for a little bit. Um, so how often and how long, if you're treated, again, just to recap, if you're dealing with MS, and, and if you are here today joining us, let me know what your symptoms are. Uh, we're going to give away um, a couple of Luma Cures. I'm going to get to some red light stuff here next. But tell me what you're dealing with, how you're managing your MS now, if you have some Life Pro tools and, and you've got some, some wins that you'd like to share with other folks here. Uh, today, really, all we covered was sit to stand, which is kind of one exercise in itself. But I want to stress, it doesn't have to be a big, massive routine. Let's look at the goals. I want more energy. I want to get stronger. Um, if you're lacking energy and you deal with fatigue, which I said is it's kind of the number one thing with MS, you don't want to do big, long exercises. You don't want to do big workouts. You don't want to drain the energy that you do have. So you want to push the fatigue fast, make your positions challenging for your range of motion and ability, and build from there. Okay. So I've yammered away a little bit. Um, again, I'm just going to check and see who has joined me. I have awesome. I love feedback. I could talk all day. Um, so who's new? Hi, Pat. Long time no see. Uh, I'm watching to gain knowledge to share with peeps. You know who have MS. Uh, love my red light items from Life Pro. Just added the bio heel uh, during the sale yesterday. And of course, my vibration platforms. I have a Life Pro addiction. 
apparently I do too. And uh, I didn't talk about it today, but you can absolutely combine the effects of these. So to Pat's point, if you have a bio heal panel, or if you've got a lever red belt, or even if you've got the face mask, uh, I wouldn't recommend the pen that we're giving away today because you're shaking on the machine. Um, but, uh, you know, you can combine these things if you're using the red light for other things. Add them while you're doing your vibration machine if you want to reduce the time you're spending doing your self-care or your exercise. Um, we also have uh, definitely would use with my arms. <laughs> um, some Samaya, I have a, a vibration for sitting. I use that. Vibration for sitting is good. Especially, uh, if you're dealing with um you know there there are other I, there's a bigger list of ms i didn't go over all of it but you know if you're dealing with urinary incontinence constipation you know sexual function declines there's all kinds of things and sitting on the platform is a really good way to target those areas directly if the range of motion allows it's just a different way to do it a lot of my clients uh, suffering with ms have restless leg or just muscle pain and and uh, uh sandy here i think it was sandy with with fibromyalgia again another common thing you know, a couple of squats or even just massaging those areas for a short period before you go to bed is a really good way to target that so you can get some darn sleep, which is when your body does all the recovery work, of course. Uh, we have Jen Long. Hello, Jen. Um, I love this. Really helping me to jump into trying out my Rumblex Pro again. <gasps> I'm all about getting you back on your machine again. And if you're not using it, that's why I'm here nagging you. Sometimes you just need a butt kick. And, you know, sometimes we just we just need to be accountable. So check in with me once a week. Deb, I did it. Um, I hurt my face first time I used it. Um, oh, you hurt my face. You hurt your knee the first time you used it. I'm also almost going to guarantee you're probably standing wider with your foot position or you were pushing yourself too long. Jen, I got to admit, I'm never upset when someone has, you know, an overdoing it effect on the machine because at least it tells me you're trying. You gave it a shot. There's nothing worse than when I get a call with someone and say, Oh, how was your first try? Oh, I was too scared. It's been sitting in the box for six months. So, um, you know, nothing you're not going to recover from. And if it was hurting the knees, it, you were probably taking on more impact with that wider foot placement. And probably, I'm going to guess, you started on a slow speed. And I know Life Pro recommends in, in their, their manuals, you know, to, to start on a slow speed. That's the conservative approach. But you're that's dealing with a baseline body. If you're dealing with MS, if you're dealing with bad knees and bad hips, you need to consider modifications to address your needs. And, and that's kind of where I do all these crazy sessions. What does the oscillation mode look like on the platform? It's like this. It's it's like walking. It's, it's the foundational movement of vibration uh, plates. It's what most machines out there offer. And it's available on all of Life Pro's models. There are other movements. But oscillating is, is my universal coaching. That's how you walk across the floor. And, and with the foot placement and different things, there's there's a few other things to understand than, than other types of movement. So that's why I go into a bit more detail. I haven't been very active at all for several years, but I'm tired of not living my life. I'm glad that I, you know what? I hope I can give you a butt kick today. And being in constant pain anytime I do extra movements, even grocery shopping can be painful. Um, I love that you show those of us that aren't, uh, maybe aren't as active, how we can turn around and really appreciate it. Oh, I've uh, found recently started losing my balance, even just in the shower. Just grateful I found um, a great company like Life Pro, even though I hurt myself the first attempt. I'm not giving up. Don't give up. And, and if you're starting to notice balance issues in the shower, again, I always say functional fitness. It, get functional first before you look at a big exercise program. I know many of you don't find my stuff as sometimes as exciting or as, as much action as, as some of the, the, the fitness workouts I've done in other areas. But so many of you are dealing with something, you know, aches and pains. And, and, and you know, it's just been a really hard couple of years. And a lot of my clients have digressed. And I want, you know, there's never a bad time to get started. Stop beating yourself up. I always say stop looking through the rear view mirror and start keeping focus on the windshield. Or just start focusing on where you're going to start and how you're going to progress. And it doesn't matter how slow you progress. I guarantee the minute you leave, even if you're just sitting in the stool and get some lymph and some, get some life back in your body so you can start living one again. And keep me posted, Jen. Okay. Um, what else? My friend used this and suggested it. I have MS. Thanks for the info. Karen, if you were to go into Google and search MS and vibration plates scholarly, I always write scholarly, then you get rid of all the blog and all you get to the meat. 
And I don't even like the science because science is so far behind this girl and what you can do. You know, science is great, but six weeks isn't enough. I got clients on these machines 15 years. They'll tell you what they can do. So the long-term aspects and the long-term study of vibration plates, in my opinion, has taken a bit of a stall because big pharma is more convenient and more profitable. And I'll admit for many of you and myself at times, it's easier getting up and being active, especially if you're in a corner and you've been in a dark place for a long time of inactivity. It's hard to take those first steps. So stop thinking about his fitness and diet and all those stupid Cosmo words. Just start moving and feeling better. And if you've got one here, all I can do is push you onto the plate and, and force you to do it, which I can't do through the screen. So it's on you at this point. And if you do need a butt kick, I'm here every Monday, as you know. Um, Karen says she has spasms, have been in the calves most nights. I need core strength and I am in a group locally. Uh, so Karen, I would suggest if it's calves, you can massage the calves too, so you can sit on the ground. But calves are an important one to keep strong. Uh, MS aside, a lot of my clients doing, dealing with blood or cardiac issues. It's weakness in the calves that sometimes contributes to all kinds of things. Your calves are littler muscles than, than the distance that they've got to travel through and, and where it's got to get to to get up to the heart for that return. So the weaker the calves, the harder it is for them to return the blood. And, and um, when you move, lymph moves. So if you're not doing anything targeting those areas specifically, like I say, some calf raises, you could like stand off the edge of a stair and raise up and then come down and stretch the calf. Uh, do one foot at a time on the machine. And if range of motion allows, you could also get down and massage the calves themselves um, and stretching. What else? Um, this is awesome. I'm glad. Once again, I was a little stalled this morning because I was looking at my notes thinking, I can't say all this. They're so sick of me talking. Um, I walk now, Karen says, and I've been focusing on diet. Diet sucks. Um, you know, cause there, sometimes there's other things going on, like the root cause, you know, maybe you've got food allergies. Many of us are not absorbing the nutrient content in our food. The food doesn't have the content it used to. So, you know, these are things to be mindful of, especially if you're not only just starting some new activity, regardless of how aggressive it may be. Um, you want to sustain your body and give it the things it needs to support the activities as well. Um, Facebook user, I have edema in my legs and desperately need one. Edema is, is becoming more, I have a, a, a separate group uh, for certain medical conditions and many, many of them, I, all of them have edema of some sort. Um, and next month I'll be doing a couple talks specifically to that kind of thing. But um, anything I've talked about today with, you know, anything you can do to get that blood moving and circulating, uh, you're going to be warmer. Your feet and your legs aren't going to be as cold. Um, you may even notice your veins. I'm sure that you have um, varicose and spider veins. I have them horrible on my legs. They're horrible, but they don't hurt and there's no texture to them. So, you know, I'm not going to go under the knife for something that's really just aesthetics. But I do notice if I don't use the machine regularly that they start to get some texture. Sometimes they get a little sore. So, again, proactive consistent use don't don't leave it so long that you're hurting and then when you do get things fixed you throw it out the window again stick with this especially if you've had some improvement um urgent blade says fatigue is one of my biggest issues balance and spasticity i manage with diet exercise tmc yeah, di and diet and exercise can, tri can contribute to some of these symptoms too don't think that you know inflammation you know if you're dealing with something that your body doesn't like you, you might have chronic inflammation. So, you know, if, if, if you've done all the activity things and you think you're doing all the right things, sometimes some allergy testing or check it out. There's a, there's so many good groups on Facebook. Okay, what else do we have here? Be perfect for me. Shows I need more patience with how I use my plate. Uh, me too, sometimes, Sandy. Um, sometimes if patience is a factor, it's the long. You don't want to be there for 15, 20 minutes. You're done after five. So be done after five. Make those five minutes if you're able as mean as possible if your goals are fitness. Fitness isn't about how long you exercise. It's about getting the body parts you're working to fatigue. And if you're dealing with MS, you want to do it as fast as possible to reserve the energy and start building it. Um, I will say a caution on this one with the energy and the fatigue. Uh, it's not uncommon when you first use a vibration machine that you get energized and you feel alive and, and you just want to go do stuff because tomorrow you might not be able to when you have good days and bad days but i caught give it a couple three weeks up to a month 
Um, don't overdo it. And what I mean by it's not overdoing it on the machine, but you feel so good and you have so much energy, you go overdo other things. And those of you that do this know exactly what I'm talking about. But if, if you're dealing with chronic fatigue and weakness, and all of a sudden you're on some shaky machine and it gives you a couple of minutes of energy, don't go mow the lawn and paint the house and do the laundry. It just everything in moderation. After about a month, you can start picking things up a little bit because you'll notice the energy starts sticking around. And eventually, eventually, for those of you using this for whatever your reason, you'll notice that you can don't need to go as often or you can start going a little bit longer. And maybe you're not changing up your physical routine, but the, the durations and, and the, the foot placement and the settings, you can vary uh, outside of the positions to, to keep those changes progressing on the upward tick versus with MS and, and allowing those symptoms to progress downward. Stop that right now. Um, and what else here? Horrible insomnia and fatigue most afternoons. Karen, try a little session before bed and try just two minutes whenever you need an energy boost. Put those feet really close together and just crank it up and, and do we, just knees bent or maybe some slight pelvic tilts. But you can use this. Sometimes when people say, oh, well, Debbie says that you can use the machine as much as you want. Much and how often are two different things. A couple minutes here and there whenever you need is absolutely fine. And I, I, I encourage it. Um, okay. Do, 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 do. Okay. So I want to get into some science about red light. I'm not going to get into a huge demo. Um, the benefits of red light are the benefits of red light. And we've done a few red light sessions. Um, today, we're giving this away. Um, but I did want to talk about why, why would you want to use red light? for symptoms of MS. And again, I'm going to say symptoms because the symptoms might be something that you're dealing with, but you don't even have MS. So the symptoms can be treated or managed universally. But for those of you that do have the label and the official diagnosis of MS, you'll find a world of info. Uh, this isn't new news. This has been uh, out on the internet and studied for quite some time. Uh, red light. First of all, uh, there's a couple links that Lauren has been kind enough to post up here to make me look ever so smart. Uh, the European Journal of Physical and Rehabilitation Medicine completed or compiled the results of many studies surrounding light therapy. So they all sat in a room and they read and they gave their opinion. This is the part. I love research, but we're hands on. You guys are research. You, you know what works for you when you try and you win or you try and you fail. But they felt that um, low level, level light laser therapy, which is another term for red light, um, improves cell viability, inhibits uh, apoptosis modulates immune responses and induces the production of growth factors. And if you weren't aware, MS is considered an autoimmune disorder. So anything you can do to boost your immune, which we know red light does, it's kind of a common sense thing. Another one I highlighted, uh, the European Journal of Physical and Rehabilitation Medicine compiled the results of many studies surrounding red light therapy, also known as uh, low level light laser therapy. Um, the research found that low level light laser therapy significantly decreases pain uh, in adults with varying MS disorders. So, um, you know, if you're managing pain, um, if you're dealing with spasticity, if you're, you know, whatever ails you, um, the, the, what I like about the tools today, and I'll give you an example, um, you know, maybe you have a vibration plate, but you're at the office from nine to five and and your pain's kicking in and it's great that debbie says to use your vibration machine whenever you want to but if you're not home during the day that becomes challenging so something like this which did i say we're giving two of these away today we're giving two of these away today so if you'd like to be in the runnings make sure you comment i don't care if you tell me where you're from um or if if you're dealing with ms and want to share some information about your condition or how you might be treating your condition make sure you comment i'm, I'm a couple minutes away from uh probably drawing some names so um this is the the life pro lumicure and if you're not aware of how this works unlike the other tools there is a red light belt there is a panel the bio heal and there's also the the face mask any of them are going to offer different benefits there's never one tool that's universal for every application but if you're on the go, if, if, if you know you don't have a lot of patience or time and, and you want immediate relief, um, what I love about the Lumicure over other things, it's a little bit more intense in the strength of the light, so you don't need as much treatment time. Now, it is a smaller area, but for me personally, my aches and pains are in the joints. Um, 
Sometimes there are things that I've done to myself. I'm a really big klutz. So I'm like stubbing my toe or rolling my ankle. And um, even when I'm using my vibration plate, I find if I do have any aches or kinks, um, you know, just as a warm up, this is one way that I'll use this. But I do like packing this with me, not only if there's something going on with me, but it's really common. I'll run into my clients and I, I forever I'm saying, oh, I wish I had my torch with me or oh, I wish I had my gun with me. So these little tools are great to take with you to treat and keep those symptoms at bay throughout the day. If you've never used a Lumicure, and I should be wearing sunglasses, but it goes for an automatic five minutes. You, you, oh, look at that. You may or may not need the five minutes. And you can see right now, I've just got it on my skin surface. Okay, so for example, my left wrist, I used to play too much volleyball back in the day. Right there just gets kinked up, and it's not even my mouse hand. It's my, it's my, my weak hand, it's my backup hand. And sometimes in the summer when I'm doing a lot more gardening or I'm back into different sports and I'm using both hands, my left hand's never as strong or as conditioned as the right. So that's, you know, I might do that for a couple, three minutes, even when I'm driving sometimes. If you want to get a bigger surface area with this one, just pull the light away. You can go up to an inch or so away and you're just treating a bigger area. But make sure that you are wearing your glasses when you're wearing this one, okay? Um, so we're going to be giving two of these away. There's three different settings. Um, there's far and, uh, there's fur, there's the infrared, which is the 850 nanoms. Uh, and this one, um, you can use it for superficial, or if you're in the infrared mode, the 850, uh, you're going to penetrate a little bit deeper into the skin surface. If you are dealing with tendonitis, carpal tunnel, those types of things. Um, if, if you have numbness or sensation that's another really good way that you can use red light to target those areas in a passive way and i think what probably the the advantage of red light um if you have these tools or, or you have a vibration plate now and you're kind of you know what else should i get i think they're a really ideal complement one plays off the other and enhances the effects when they're combined for sure but the red light has um a little bit more appeal it's got a different set of benefits and it can be used you know, if, if pain is off the charts or mobility is, is just so poor that it's, you know, you're going to be very limited in what you can do with your plate. You can use these type of tools to kind of wrap up the effects and, and get more effect on the vibration machine. Why the vibration machine and why do I keep going back to that as the, the, the foundation for everything else is it's a weight bearing activity. So I know you've got aches. I know you've got pains. I know you want to get stronger. I know you want to sleep better, but I'm also thinking about your bones. I'm thinking about your cardiovascular system. There's, there's all kinds of things that just being an animal living on this planet and bearing the gravitational load of our body benefits us. And if you're sitting in a chair too much and, and that's just life and the way it's going to be a vibration plate, even when you're seated in a chair is going to counteract some of the effects of all that sedentary activity. Um, this stuff is like, I say the, the golden compliment. Um, so just some tips and some tricks, but that's why I'm always so hounding on the vibration machine is there's just benefits, um, uh, beyond just treating the symptoms long-term. Once you do start moving and feeling better, I know you're going to appreciate where you can progress. So I'm going to just double check to see if there's any more questions. Argent Blade says, I don't have a vibration plate, so we'll have to check this out too. You don't need a, the biggest, fanciest one either, depending on your weight. Um, the, the, the Waver Mini is an awesome choice. It's under a couple hundred bucks. It's a little bit lighter. So if you're using it, you know, maybe in the house throughout the day and you want it by the bed for the restless leg or to use it when you get up first thing in the morning, you know, there's never one perfect plate for every other application as well. Be realistic with who you are now. Are you an active person? Are you an inactive person? When a vibration machine shows up at your house, it's not going to change the discipline. It may make it a little bit easier to get disciplined, but uh, don't think it's going to turn you into a CrossFit person. So be realistic. You don't need to spend on the top model. You don't need to go with the least expensive model either, but you know, be realistic with, with what you're looking at using it for and what you hope to progress to as well. And, and, and that's just my suggestion there. Um, uh, Lesion Mark, I don't know if I'm saying that properly. Hello, I also use the Life Pro Vibe Plate and Training Program. It's a home stre strength and stretching program that would also help with MS folks. Free, so check it out. Uh, challenge routine. Uh, thank you for sharing that. There's, you know, you're only limited, as I said, by your imagination and your range of motion. So there, there's really, you know, what type of exercises are good for MS to do on the plate? You know, whatever, whatever you're supposed to be doing now for you personally on the floor is probably a good place to start.
Uh, Jen says, my doctor said I popped knee socket out. I was just sitting at a very low speed, but was changing speed all over. Doctor said I can still use it in my walking mode, but or, or vibration only. So um, the low speed that I think maybe Jen, but I would challenge you. Um, I don't like to like give you advice and then never hear from you again and not know how it worked out. Try bringing your feet as close as, as the thighs will allow, depending on what you're dealing with in that situation. I don't know if, if you're dealing with uh, big thighs, little thighs, but try and get them as close as your thighs will allow and crank it up to like a mid speed. On those really slow speeds, the body's got the most time to guard and protect. It's very choppy and very wobbly. And when you, when you start going faster with less movement, it becomes smoother, more tonic. And I think you'll get a little bit more done on the lymph and the circulation and some of those things in less time. So two to three minutes, maybe even one to two minutes, see how you feel and you can always add more time. And um, over a period of continued use and you start feeling a little bit more stable in the knees, we can progress to different things where maybe you're standing in front of the plate and just putting one leg on it without a whole lot of body weight or perhaps what I was doing today with the step beside. So you progress when you're ready, but there's a lot you can do seated just with a few adjustments. And I, and I challenge you, Jen, to just tag me back in this video later on um, if you've had a chance to try that after a day or two and just let me know if it's offered some improvement. If it hasn't, we can tweak a little further, but 99.9% .9 of the time, it's that slow speed in combination with too much time or too wide a distance. And I, I'm sorry that you had a poor experience, but I'm really glad that you're back and not just giving it up and, and going out there and saying, oh, vibration machines are bad. They they hurt your knees. You know, it's, it's kind of coming from a place of inexperience that doesn't help my, my job. So, you know, um, anytime that I can help you with things like that, it's usually just a, a minor adjustment. Um, Sandy says, excellent info. So helpful. Um, Robert says, new to vibration is there a guide to which mode is best for different benefits? I don't really speak that language. They're really... The different modes, there, there's never going to be enough research to cover every setting, every variation possible, um, every position. So if, if you're dealing with severe issues, um, you know, the modes that Life Pro offers are pulsation, lateral, and oscillating. And some of their models combine, uh, you know, th those uh, three within each other. Um, pulsation is a very mild you know, stimulation, I would call it, you know, I wouldn't use it as my workout program. It's nice for some massage, but if you're very fearful, you're dealing with very severe pain. Pulsation is a nice way to start when you're using oscillating by bringing the feet closer and bringing the speed up. I'm kind of mimic mimicking, but more functional. So we're reducing the intensity and then lateral, the entire surface of the plate moves side to side for people that have really poor uh, or really like high sensitivity to head vibration or neck. Um, some people love that mode. There's not a lot of science behind that. Our body does not move this way, but innovation is very much driven by you guys, the consumers. I want a pink one. I want one that moves this way. So the fundamental science behind vibration plate, 90% of it is oscillating, but Life Pro has, has taken your feedback as have other manufacturers over the years and added some of these modifications to further customize for your body and your needs. So there is never a best. It's more about what feels good to you and what's tolerated for you personally. So if you have a machine with multi movements, uh, th those are the three. If you're working with a, a basic plate and you just have oscillation, you've got a world of variety between your, your speed levels and your foot placement. So start with your feet very close at a mid to higher speed and progress from there. Um, Jen, uh, so walking is, is the oscillation mode. Yes, but much less impact. You know, when you're walking or you're running, there's a frequency to it. You know, how often those feet are hitting the pavement and the faster you go, the more impact of those feet hitting the pavement. So a vibration machine, because you're moving really fast, it seems like there's a lot more impact going on, but you're moving. If you had your feet all the way out on the very edge of most of uh, life pros models, you're getting under a centimeter less than half an inch of movement you're getting more impact walking across the street at a slow pace um but what happens going for walks is the muscles and the joints and the you know sometimes the fatigue on the muscles doesn't happen before the aches and the pains of the joints set in so where a vibration machine takes that impact and increases the intensity while shortening the duration you can get those muscles to a level of fatigue without it being taxing and, and long durations on the joints. Uh, first time listening to you, I could listen all day. 
stop sandy you know some people say shut up you talk too much and i do so i'm going to stop rambling uh there's a balance my son recently tore his calf muscle playing basketball his doctor recommended specific recovery that he's doing good for him if you don't recover you're going to pay the price later in life uh can he also use the vibration plate to help with his healing if so sitting would be the best <sighs> okay i gotta be careful because i'm not your physio and if your physio doesn't know if it's just a muscle issue and he's a young kid yeah he can use the machine but reduce the intensity i would say um basketball playing basketball depending on what he did was he what, when he landed was it a takeoff is it a terror is it just soreness if there's a terror in any way shape or form in the muscle or the ligaments i do not recommend weight bearing and sitting probably wouldn't be too comfortable but sitting in the stool and just let him see how it feels and let him decide if standing standing doing something more functional just to get some extra blood and help expedite recovery would be what my brain is telling me, but bring his feet really close, crank it up to like a mid speed and have him, you know, just bend slightly till he feels that, that hamstring firing, depending on where he's at in his recovery, sitting on the machine may be comfortable, but believe it or not with hamstring injuries, it's never the machine I'm worried about. It's the getting down and the getting off and the maneuvering yourself that people actually hurt themselves doing. It's not the, the machine itself. So depending on him. So it's really painful and he takes 20 minutes to get down on the ground. Let's not do that today. Wait till he's, he's a little more mobile. I hope that helps Cynthia. Um, Jen uh, says, you had mentioned slow speed is not the best when starting out. What would you suggest? Mid, mid to high, but closer feet. That, that, that guarantee on oscillating mode, it's gonna be a completely different experience, Jen. And again, Life Bro says start slow, but everybody says that. The whole industry says that. I don't fit into that box. I deal with so many people below baseline. There's a different way, not a better way, a different way. Same reason you're seeing a physio for your issues versus going to the gym and working out. You know, you got to take a different approach when you're healing. Um, MS folks can try Pradolite slapping on certain body parts. Um, I, I'm, we're talking about life pros today. So I, I'd really appreciate if, if you're a life pro customer, that's great. But I, I don't think it's very, in my opinion, classy to come on to another company's live and promote your own. Uh, that's just my feeling. If that's what you're doing, uh, I would appreciate that you, you know, if you want to share benefits that fine, but don't use uh, this platform to take advantage and market your yourself. Uh, oops, Lumicure Torch, not Lumicare. Oh, you know what? I probably said it, Cynthia. Don't even worry about that. Uh, but yes, that's what I was showing here today. And you can see that on site. Um, I'd like to win the red light torch to help with my MS. I will share the info with my doctor and the group at the University of Penn after using it. If the University of Pennsylvania isn't isn't versed at the benefits in red life, they're red light, they're behind the times. It's the vibration machine. They might think I'm a little bit more cuckoo on. And if there's anything in specific that I can send for you, you let me know. Um, grateful for your dedication and encouragement. Thanks so much. Oh, Yeshiva, that's awesome. You have a great name. Uh, Karen, will it work for side neck pain? Is it safe with fair skin? I'm glad you asked. It is absolutely fine for neck pain. I like using the belt, actually, and I'll wrap it around my neck where the bio heel is nice as well. Uh, what I would recommend if you are using it um, with fair skin, fair skin, this isn't like a tanning bed where it's, it's going to... The, the caution with red light more so is darker skin where it's absorbing the light. And I did a discussion a while ago about pulse light, you know, pulse light. There's lots of benefits, you know, still being discovered about the, the benefits of uh, pulse light. But part of the reason pulse light start, it wasn't because of better collagen production or it was because uh, people with dark skin, uh, native skin, um, black skin, dark skin, a lot of times would absorb it and, and they'd have little surface burns, nothing that they wouldn't recover from. But the pulse light um, started way back in the 70s and the 80s. And it was a way of mitigating the accumulation of heat on that darker surface. So even even someone in the sun or if you get a lot of, a lot darker in the sun, I would recommend just being uh, conscious of that. And don't start out at the max time all the time. Just because the machine is set for five minutes or 15 minutes or 30 minutes, Everybody comes to Debbie and says, oh, but the machine went for 15 minutes. Yeah, but you have MS and you can barely walk. So you don't fit in the box. That's when you hurt yourself is when you do the cookie cutter stuff and you forget that you've got to adapt 
or be doing the things you're supposed to be doing for you. Uh, sounds like good for trigger points. Absolutely, Karen. And we all have a few of those. <laughs> um, trigger points being people it doesn't help with. Cynthia, thank you. I'm learning more about how to use my vibration plate and your other products. Yes, there's. you are only limited, like I say, by your imagination and your range of motion. Yes, Jed, I'm holding you to it. Make sure you let me know. Um, what is the name of the plate? Uh, the one that I'm using is the Rumblex Pro. Um, it's a flat surface. It's got all of the different modes. Um, many, many of my clients with MS and fibro um, have the waiver or the waiver mini. They're just that's just the oscillating mode. Again, it really depends on on where you're going with your budget. That of course has to come into it. Um, but a lot can be done on a basic plate, and um, there are financing options in the U.S. as well. If if that's something that you need to consider too, you can see that on the Life Pro site. Um, what is the name of the plate you use today? Today, the plate is the Rumblex Pro uh, Plus. That's the model that I'm using. And uh, I have all their plates. Uh, but I did have a training session with a client that had this plate just prior. So I had it set up. Uh, and I like using that one just to be available on the fly. If someone is asking me a question about a particular mode, uh, it has all of those. If I'm going to visit somebody or I do a lot of in-home stuff, it's my waiver or my waiver mini. And, and for those of you that are asking what exercise arm workouts I do, I haul these machines around all day. <laughs> so that's where a lot of my toting comes from. So thank you very much. Um, I think we are at the time where... <clears throat> I'm buying time to check my phone so that my lovely Lauren and her super dog, Olive, um, can tell me um, if all of you have entered. I think we should give a couple of these things away. So Laura, drum roll. <laughs> For all of you that have entered and for those of you that haven't entered like it's under 100 bucks go buy it anyways um today's winners are okay should i tell you no i don't want to tell you okay i'll tell you um yeshiva yeshiva are you still with us guess what you want do, 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 do. the other one karen you're the winner number two you're not number two you're both tied for number one but yeshiva uh, Retreat and Karen Fetcher are the two winners of the Lumicure wands today. Pens, torch, whatever. You, torch sounds cooler. Um, so uh, she's going to make a um, an announcement uh, here as well, and we'll reach out to you uh, as to how to get those to you. So if you don't have um, the the Lumicure or you're not playing with red light right now, and you are dealing with MS. I simply challenge you to look into it a little further. Don't always believe what, what I'm saying. You should check this out for yourself and validate it for yourself. Because once you start Googling this stuff, red light and MS, sometimes there's a lot of things that you didn't even realize you, you could be using your tools for. And the same goes with the vibration plate. I have been talking for 15 years straight on vibration machines. And I still have somebody once a week goes, have you tried this? Huh, I never thought of that. So again, a vibration machine is an environment, whatever exercises, stretches, you know, if there's things that you, if you have a structured program of things you're supposed to be doing now for your MS or whatever your conditions, do them on the plate, reduce the time, reduce the impact and, you know, get more effects in the long run. Um, it's a great way to manage your symptoms and, and consistency is the key guys sticking with this, whether it's to, to, to manage symptoms or keep them away on the preventative piece. Um, I'm here to kick you in the butt and keep you motivated and give you some new ideas, but keep it consistent, keep it simple, and and, and you'll be the bigger winner in the long run. Uh, thank you, Sandy. Thank you, Karen. Thank you, Pat. Um, i starting to see some familiar faces. Jen, um, Lauren and Superdog, Olive, of course. Argent, I think it's Argent Blade, but I'm going to say Argent. Um, Christine, um, Sandy, I think I said you already. Cynthia. Uh, many of you I know, many of you I do not know, and I'm looking forward to getting to know many of you more. I am back here Monday of next week um, for something, I'm drawing a blank, but I am here uh, back on our regular time next week. Today was bumped a little bit because it was World MS Day today, and, and uh, it was a holiday yesterday in the States. So thank you so much for joining me. Um, if you guys have ideas for sessions or topics or there's things you want me to ramble about, let us and let the people at Life, know, Life Pro know. I think I know everything because I'm a woman and that's sometimes just the way that I think, but I don't. Uh, and sometimes, you know, what I think is the biggest deal to show you or talk about, you know, I could be off base. So if there's things that you want to talk about, whether it's your vibration plate, 
the other tools, um, medical conditions, you know, you're, you're looking for some more information, let us know those ideas. And I'd happy to build those into some of my sessions going forward. Thank you so much for ever, uh, for joining me today. For those of you that are having a, gr a short week, enjoy it and uh, don't work too hard. I look forward to seeing you guys again next Monday. Thank you so very much. And uh, we'll talk to you again very soon.